Hi everybody, it's Janet here, and I did finish my little Christmas tea bag mini here. Um, so as I promised, I did the tutorial, and I decided to go ahead and finish the mini that I made in the tutorial. So this is it embellished. Um, I used my mind's eye, just a scrap of my mind's eye paper that I had. I don't remember what line it was, but um, I thought I liked the color, and I thought it looked kind of Christmassy, and it went with that Stella and Rose paper that I used, that Mabel collection, which is what I did my last mini um, with too. So anyway, um, I, this is it finished. I was trying to think like what would I use to embellish it with and I happened to find some, a pack of um, border stickers that I had bought at Michael's right before Christmas. They were like 40% off so I just went ahead and bought them. And so this is it was kind of fortuitous because they were the perfect color and I decided uh, that I would go ahead and use them. I didn't do a brad for the closure on this one. I used a button because I just thought it looked so cute with it. And then for the tag, um, I just punched three little stars and put them on that side. And on this side, I um, just used a little snowflake that I punched out from some Christmas paper. And then you open it. And um, this inside here is just a little piece of the border from those borders that I got from Michaels. And um, same with this. This is a different border sticker. But, you know, when you cut them up into pieces, they just made perfect little pockets. And um, they were just the right size. So it was really easy to do. I punched a couple little tags. And I cut them down. They were, they're longer when they come out of the punch. But they were a little too long for this mini, so I did cut them down. And then I used Brad's to um, embellish these. And I like uh, this one in particular because it's got a, a plaid on it. They were basic gray life of the party Brad's. And unlike some Brad's, these have a antiqued bezel edge, which I really, really like. I wish more Brad's had more of a vintagey bezel edge on them because it's, it's brass and not silver and it's um, got a twisted bezel, so it's really nice. <clears throat> and then over here, um, the, well, actually that's the last page. I'll wait until I get there. Okay, and then this page, I just had a piece of camera ephemera, so I just decided to go ahead and use it because it was sitting out on my table. And then um, I used a scallop punch here and a circle punch here, and this is some old Graphic 45 Christmas past paper. Over here, I did a scallop out of some ledger paper or notebook paper and that also was my mind's eye from a different Christmas collection. It might have been, actually it might have been the Penny Lane collection, I, I can't remember. <clears throat> and then this little Santa, he was part of those borders from Michaels. Over here I just stamped Noel and then used another border. And then this is basic gray from their Jovial collection last year. It was something called Small Details. And um, I, I bought tons and tons of that Jovial paper, but I haven't actually done anything with it yet. So um, I am going to, I still am gonna do some projects with it, but probably not till next Christmas. But I did order some of the embellishments. And when I was looking at them online, they looked big. You know, I thought they were big embellishments. And when they came, they were these like little tiny things, which makes sense since they're called Small Details. But basically, they're just kind of like a little clip, and you just clip them on. Over here, I just echoed the um, border again. And this does leave, you know, room where you could put photos in here. This is, I don't know if you can tell in there, but this is like a ledger paper or a notebook paper or something, so you could journal on that. And then this, um, this is the center, so I made the pages kind of match, and they're po pocket pages. And um, again, this is a little Santa from the border. And I didn't do anything to the back. In fact, I left the sticker paper on it and just um, distressed it. So um, if that if that starts to come off, I'll just um, glue on some cardstock on the back. And then um, this is another border from that pack. And then this writing paper or dictionary paper or whatever it is, and that's an old piece of paper from K and Company from some old collection. And then here's a tag made out of the 
same paper from the cover and I, I didn't do anything on the backs. I probably, I don't think I did much on the backs of any of these. Maybe a couple of them, I don't, I don't remember. And then uh, this is just a circle and I liked it because it was red and turquoise polka dot which matched the color scheme in, in, um, in a lot of this paper. Oh, I did, I did put a little journaling spot on the back of that one. And over here, again, more cutouts from the border. Uh, this is just a little scallop. I thought it was cute. And it's got that ledger paper, notebook paper on the back, which I think there's a glare, so it's probably hard for you to see that. And then um, another little tag. I did put a little, little spot on that one. Over here, uh, I just put another border, and I love that little polka dot paper. Well, it's not polka dot, it's flower or something. I think it's cute. And then um, <coughs> I cut up the border pieces over here just to fill in uh, some of the space. And then these are a couple of little snowmen that were from a, um old My Mind's Eye Christmas collection. I think it was... I don't think it was last year. I think it was a couple years ago, and I think it was called Colorful Christmas. I thought it was cute. And they were little, so they, they fit on the page. Over here, um, another... Oh, this I cut out of that, the paper from the cover. And then um, I, I punched out a snowflake from that Colorful Christmas paper. And then here's just a, a tag, simple tag. And over here, this is from the border, and it says December 25th. And then this says, A Day to Remember, which you probably can't read. Nope. <laughs> nope, can't read that. But that was on the packaging for those um, basic gray brads, and I just thought it was kind of funny, so I just put that on there. And over here, this is the last page. Um, again, it's just a plain page, border, Christmas tree I punched or cut out from that might have been a making memories paper I can't remember that also was a couple years ago at least two years ago and I just cut the uh, one of the little Christmas trees out of it and put it on there and then over here this is the back of the cover this um, was another one of those little small detail things and it was kind of plain so I put the red star on it you take it off and then it says wish here which I stamped and then this is a Christmas list. It, this is from this one of one of this year's collections, and it might be um, October afternoon. I can't remember, but <clears throat> my one of my scrapbooking stores that I go to had um, had that collection, and I thought it was so cute. So I bought some of the little tags from it, and then again border, and then um, on the bottom of that, and then this. <laughs> I was walking through my kitchen, and I have one of those long. Um, Mary Englebright like grocery list things that you can get at Michael's in the dollar bin and so it had this house on it and then it said there's no place like home so I just ripped one of the sheets off as I was walking through the kitchen and thought I'm going to put it in this little mini so um, so I did because it made me think of that Christmas song where they sing there's no place like home for the holidays and then I couldn't remember if it was like a real Christmas song or if it was like just a commercial because I know they used it in a commercial and I was thinking, wouldn't that be funny if, if I have that like embedded in my head and it's not really a Christmas song, it's just a Christmas commercial. So anyway, um, pretty easy. And I would say that if you're going to um, make this, in my tutorial I said make this portion here three inches, but I would really make it three and a quarter and then it won't have that that bendy thing so um you know what i gotta go because my cat is sick and i think she's having some issues so i gotta go